Magura uh, MT5E brake system is here with the custom length hose. Let's see if we can do this one handedly. Box looks good. It came prior, it came one day earlier than they said, which is good. Let's see what we got here. Spare parts. Oh, they got the spare parts. Here's the rotor. You can see it. See? Rotor. More stuff. More stuff. Here's the adapter. And this is the, the uh, this is really what I paid for the foam for the bubble wrap. Hey. Yeah. Oh, stickers. We can get the stickers on things. We got uh -oh. your owner's manual. We got other stuff. And we have this nice brake lever. Look at this thing. All right. Look at that. It comes with two of the uh, transporter thingies. And a, uh, a box you can stick your finger in. And handbrake. Just a three finger handbrake. And some of these. And a pre shortened cable of 35 inches, I believe. 33 or 35, I can't remember. And that's it. There's the E. I mean, the M. Looks like an E. Looks like the big E. And here is something I'm going to have to change out, which is this high go connector. Well, you can barely see in there. And uh, that's. I got to put the phone down just for a second. I'm just going to take this netting off so I can see what's going on here. All right. God, I hope this is normally, this uh, uses a very different type of uh, reed switch, which I hope is normally open. <laughs> okay. Well, I wonder if it says so on the box, because I really specified that and tried to hit home with everybody. But... I would get the feeling nobody gave a shit. <laughs> oh no. Please somebody say N-O somewhere. Hmm. Oh, well, that's it. Well, maybe it'll address it somewhere in the book and how to flip it over. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Uh, I'll get back to you. So this is the 180 millimeter uh, MDR. I think it's called the MDRC rotor. It's a two millimeter thick rotor. And it should be perfectly flat. These are the already... Um, Threaded with uh, lock thread on them. Nuts to put this in. All right, let's get a wear limit of 180 millimeters. It's got it's directional. An 80 millimeter. All right. 
Nice. All right, I'm just installing the MDRC. I think it's called the MDRC. MDRC rotor. This is a 180 millimeter rotor. And uh, according to the Park Tool uh, um, YouTube video, you're supposed to actually cock it in one direction. I don't remember if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to go look at that now and decide. And uh, I'm going to see if uh, I'm doing it right. And then I'm going to torque it down to four nanometers with my new torque wrench. All right. Get back to you. Okay, she's torqued and happy. Hopefully it's nice and straight. And that's uh, done with love. All right. All right, next we're going to remove the, uh, the Star Union uh, hydraulic front brake and the lever assembly, which should be relatively easy. And then we're going to cut this off and solder it to the other one i have checked and the uh the magura is definitely normally open just like this one uh, this uses a different kind of switch and i just uh hit the brake lever i shouldn't have done that um anyway let's get on it i used the uh an alto sax reed as a spacer to keep the pistons and pads apart as though there's a rotor in between. I think it worked out very nicely. Right. It's a little juicy on the outside. Not sure why. Maybe that was the problem with the brake to begin with. All right. Okay, this is the next day and the MT5E is installed. This is a four piston caliber by Magura. And there's an MDR-C rotor. It's a 180 millimeter rotor. And the adapter is called the Magura QM40, if I'm not mistaken. And it holds it perfectly onto that rotor. And then up here, we have the Magura lever blade. Sorry about the lighting here, folks. I'm in the garage and it's late at night. Uh, but you don't really need to see a whole lot. I can tell you, I did have to splice the, uh, I don't know if you can see it right here. I spliced in the motor shutoff um, uh, wire of my old brake because I have these weird uh, screw-on high-go connectors uh, which you can't see because it's dark in here. But anyway, uh, I needed to use those, those high-go connectors so they matched all the rest of them, all the other wires on the bike. And uh, the only thing I have to do now is I have to adjust the reach a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit out forward. I have the angle right, but I got to get the reach done right. And this red rubber thing is something I put on. It's a little bit of a cushion because uh, my fingers get blistered at the beginning of the riding season. I'll probably take it off as we progress into the riding season. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. It's um, a very heavy bike. This is a Juice Rip Current S uh, electric fat bike, 52 volt, and it is very fast, very fast. And uh, last year I was going down many a hill in western Massachusetts on the New York Vermont border, and my Star Union, <laughs> uh, the original two piston Star Union, was had so much fade it was ridiculous. And I tried three different pat uh, pad uh, chemistries. And um, Kevlar, the OEMs work the best, which are Kevlar. And I tried a ceramic and a sintered, um, I forget what the other one was. But uh, they they all faded horribly. And the ceramic was the worst, which it, on my other bikes, <laughs> it was the best. So uh, we're using on this, in this caliper, there was only really one to get, which is their Performance Green brake pad which you'll see a picture of coming up in this video um it's i think it's called the 8.s and if you buy it from Magura, it's about 30 bucks but i've seen them for like 25 elsewhere a little on the steep side but they're supposed to last a long time they're, they're a uh, a sport pad that's what the s is a sport and uh 
we'll see how long they last on a bike like this. Uh, they also offer a race pad as well. And I'm not sure if they have a uh, performance pad for this. But anyway, those are the uh, pads. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And I have a lot of still pictures coming up for you.